One to any power is always one, right? Now, we can't do this if p equals one, right? But we already know what happens when p equals one. It's divergent. So we can automatically toss that. Let me ask you this. In this case, as t goes to infinity, it's going to matter. I'm sorry, that's not right. t to 1 minus p power. Okay, here. There's a lot of variables going on here. We got a p, we got a t, we got an x. Lots going on here. Just remember, p is a constant. That is a number that will not change given the problem. In this problem, p is two. It does not change. This problem, it was one. It does not change. We want to know what generalized versions of p are going to make it convergent. Conversely, which ones will make it divergent? So let's do this. You would agree that if this has a positive exponent, that's a polynomial that goes off to infinity. Right. Any polynomial is going to go off to infinity. Mm, right. As this gets huge, if that's t to the second power, that's parabola, right? right? Third power is still going. Fourth power is still going. They're all going off to infinity. It's just divergent. <coughs> if this exponent overall is a negative exponent, you agree it's going to drop down to the denominator, and that number will go to zero to any power. So basically, uh, 1 minus p, we want it to be less than 0. If it's less than 0, it's going to drop down to the denominator. Does that make sense? We're going to be convergent. Because then that limit, the whole thing will go to 0. What values of p are going to make it so that this integral is convergent? P is bigger than 1. If P is equal to 1, we already know it doesn't work. If P is less than 1, it will also not work. It will go off to infinity. Explain this to your neighbor. Make sure they understand the logic behind this. 